I'm rather disheartened by the overall rating of Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 on IMDb because I quite enjoyed this film. It was released in 2015, directed by Andy Fickman, uh, written by one of my personal favourites, Nick Bakai and Kevin James. And it only has 4.4 out of 10 on IMDb, which is not that great. But I personally really like this film. So it's several years after the first film. Uh, I'm not going to spoil anything for this film, but there may be some things that spoil it for the first film. But I doubt it. I think the first film would be pretty hard to actually spoil. But Paul Blart has decided to go on vacation. He takes his teenage daughter Maya, played by Rainy, Rod- Rainy Rodriguez, a uh, brilliant actress, really enjoy her work. I've seen her in a few things. Um, and obviously Kevin James plays Paul Blart. But when he uh, goes on holiday, he finds that he actually ends up in certain situations where he has to utilise his skills as a mall cop. And, you know, things get a lot hectic and a lot more hectic than he had expected. And it's not quite the relaxing vacation he would have expected. When I say that out loud, it kind of sounds cheesy and cliche. And I guess it kind of is. But I enjoyed that aspect. That's actually a part of this that I found fun. This isn't an incredibly well-developed narrative. It isn't unique or innovative. It's not the most intricate. Obviously, we don't have things like complicated CGI or special effects. But it's a very comfortable, easy-to-watch film. And this is perfect if you are looking for something that is very easy to watch and it's very pleasing because it it is funny it's not laugh out loud funny I wasn't chortling through my nose but it's one way you can have a little chuckle here and there and you know Maya has some really great kind of remarks towards her father and um, they have a great bond it's great to see them kind of bonding on screen the on-screen chemistry is brilliant and I, I will say if she wasn't in it And if the character of Maya wasn't in this, then it wouldn't have been as interesting. I definitely think that she is a valuable character who adds a good amount of the humour to this. She has her own little character development as well. She's not just there to kind of support the character of Paul Blart. But obviously, ultimately, it's Paul Blart's story. And as a sequel, I, I, I like it. I think they made the right choice of moving it away from his usual place at the mall because if it had just been at the mall and had another problem then you know it would have felt very similar to the first film but the change of location gives it a slightly different change of pace allows them to play about with different scenarios and I thought they did a really good job I really thoroughly enjoyed it part of me might even prefer it to the first film I'm not 100% confident how I feel about that maybe I'd have to watch them both kind of back to back or over the course of a couple of days when I'm in a rough same similar state of mind and see how they affect me but but I do I genuinely like it if you've seen the first film but have been put off by the ratings and reception of the second film as always my advice is ignore the reviews until you've seen it yourself and then you know make up your own mind I'd love to know what you think of it personally really thoroughly enjoyed it